Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is all about Molly. There's more, there's more of what? Fledglings? The dogs are finding all the fledglings that are out there today. If you don't know what a fledgling is, it is a baby bird that the mother has raised in the nest and now fled the nest and is learning to be a bird. And is learning it to be a grown up bird. Uh, birds, mama birds take care of their babies even when they're on the ground. It's a whole separate stage of babyhood. I guess there was one in our little dog pen where we let the dogs out. No, it was on the other side of it. You know that little area where Ruby jumps out? Then she chased it inside. All right, so Ruby. Pick it up and put it out. Yeah, so yeah, there's a bunch of drama with the baby birds today. But you know, this is really the first year that we had baby birds. Like before we moved here, there was like no animals. Yeah, and now we're hatching on um, baby robins. Yeah, we're not hatching them. They're hatching in our thing. But look at Sophie's hair. Just a minute ago before she did that, she'd be looking so cute, Sophie. And um, she's also wearing pants, which you're gonna die. It's a summer day. I don't care, I'm cold. Yeah. It is currently nine degrees Celsius. Celsius. Some people were concerned when they didn't see Molly in yesterday's video. Why did they not see Molly in yesterday's video? Because we forgot. Because <laughs> we forgot. It's true. We forgot all about Molly. Like, we forgot that we had a puppy. No, just joking. We only bring Molly when it's a safe place. Usually, we, Gabby just started bringing her down to the barn in the mornings. Um, she could have went down to the pool with us yesterday, but we had the grandkids. It just got crazy. Oh. We are, she's still in training mode. She's still being trained, so we need lots of supervision. Times when we can't have lots of supervision, she doesn't come, especially around the horses. All her glory and today is going to be all about her because she is going to the vet. I guess I should be getting my horse ready, shouldn't I? Um, Gabby took some initiative. Gabby is full of initiative. Gabby's a leader for sure. If somebody's going to get the job done, it's always Gabby. She fed the horses last night, put the hay out in the, in the... Which is what we should always do. Unless it rains. So this is the struggle with the horses right now. We're trying to get them on the right amount of hay. Everybody in my family doesn't understand. So, so I asked Gabby, how much hay did you put out for the horses? A quarter of a bale? They get a half a bale in the morning and a half a bale at lunch. So dad said to do that. So now I need to message Sam again. And I need to figure out, remind him how much they get or otherwise we're gonna have skinny horses the only one who's not skinny is finny have this feeling haven't felt for so long took a hold of me and won't let go i've been sleeping caught me off my guard because you're in my space and now i'm so Oh my gosh, and she's going to the vet. What happened? Oh, hey Sam, I have a question for you. What? How much horses do the hay, how much hay do the horses get in the morning? Why? I just want to know, because Gabby did something and I wanted to just make sure it was right. Third? Oh, they get one third? So how much, so then they get another third at lunch, at supper? I mean at lunch? Yeah. So how many, how many, how much does our, how much food do our horses get in the stall? Ten pounds. Right, which is a third, right? 
they get a third of a bit they each get a third of a bale so if we only give them one third in the in, twice a day then one of the horses doesn't get to eat each day so are they supposed to get half a half a bale in the morning and a half a bale at lunch oh. just wanted to clarify so that oh my god sam it's a vet day for the puppy <laughs> She was perfect. We left her alone for one minute. I left her alone with Sophie for one minute. And she was quiet because of the grass. She was rolling on grass. I don't know how the paws happened. So now she has to have a bath then, before we go to the vet. She's rolling over in the dirt. Yeah, figures, right? Oh my god. All right. So how much do the horses get? Half in the morning. Yeah, it's going to be a scorcher today, today and tomorrow. Rain next week, but this week it's going to be hot. I know the girls are going to want to swim. We put the cover on the pool last night to hope, in hopes of keeping all the bugs out. I wish they made covers for the pool, all of them. Solar, solar covers so that the pool would warm up with it on, but it doesn't. I think it would, but it doesn't. It smells like chlorine. Looking clearer. It is so lopsided, this pool. Get out of the bushes. Come on, before you get a tick. Come on. All right, there we go, ready for later. Come on, puppies. I'm already pouring sweat. Pouring sweat. Just from walking down to take care of the pool. Still have a lot of work to do on the pool. We still need to buy a jug of chlorine and put that in. We still need to hook up the pump because Sam forgot to buy an extra extension cord yesterday. Let's bring the puppy to the barn this morning, says Gabby. Yeah, good idea. Let's do that so she gets wet from the grass and then rolls in the mud. Luckily, there's some water. There's also some spilt supplements. Our barn fridge is a mess and that's okay. I was so sad yesterday when Chino broke our pool. Like we spent- Well, now we have more pools. We spent so much blood, sweat, and tears painting them so they Not were the perfect. Red the red ones were easy. The red ones we did kind of half, you know, half. Motivated. They're yeah. Just like throw on a coat when we're done. Yeah. yeah. But I still loved them and now we need to do it again. See you later, ponies. So uh, today we need to take care of the ponies and do some stuff with them. I always feel bad when they get left out. Because you guys should also know that um, Finn is still sore. And I explained this in yesterday's vlog, but I don't know if everybody saw it. Uh, he needs to, he hurt his back. Somebody kicked him or somebody did something to him. Because he got a bump on it, he got a cut on his back, and he got a sore pelvis or a sore hip or whatever happened to him. But that happened to him, and I called the chiropractor yesterday, and she's not in this area for a while. She's going to contact me the minute that she can come. And uh, so all we're going to do is just let him sit and relax and just do nothing. So that's why Sophie didn't ride Finn yesterday. I know some people were worried or concerned about why she's not riding him. And that's why he's recuperating. And that's okay. It happens with all horses. Before we got horses, when we first got horses and somebody would say, your horse is lame, I'd be so upset and say, and be like, don't call my horse lame. But now that I kind of get a better understanding about how horses are, just like people, they have aches and pains just like us. And it's just a normal part of having horses. And it's okay, what's not okay is not giving him the time he needs and getting him the care that he needs. So as soon as our chiropractor can come out, she will. And before that, we're just gonna let him rest. This morning I was thinking we should give her a bath, get her ready for the vet. I don't like to take a puppy to the vet that's not beautiful and clean. And I was like, no, that's so silly. She's perfect. And then, yeah, she got wet from the grass, rolled in the mud. It's insane. Can't ever say that a puppy's not perfect. Yeah, I know. She was pretty perfect, isn't she? Molly had a bath and is ready to go. It is the first bath that she's ever had where the water turned black. Like, you guys don't even understand how dirty she was. She did not look that dirty. She was black. So I brought our carpets outside to be steam cleaned. Walk it or pressure washed. Pressure washed. Yeah. And then I thought like, I might just toss them. I might just throw them in our garbage bin. Yeah. It is 150 degrees yeah. outside today and Gabby is sporting some wonderful pants and long sleeve shirt. So I'm sure that will change soon. You know what I found out today? What? Haley's a Virgo. Yeah. Can't you be friends with Virgos? Yes, but like, no. You don't like Virgos? 
You just offended all the Virgos in the it's comment not, section. It's not that I don't like them. It's just like it's not my favorite zodiac sign. What's your but favorite? Not my least favorite. What's Cancers your least favorite? <laughs> Cancers are the worst. What's your What's your favorite? Huh? What's your favorite? Aries. But I'm a Taurus. Don't you love Sagittarius though? Like they're the coolest, most no. hardworking people you're on the earth. You're a Sagittarius. Oh, awful. that's right. I am. Oh, I am. Okay, so we are at the vet. We literally drove two minutes down the road. That's how close our vet is to us. Um, we are two minutes down the road. We're at the vet, and our government is saying like you should use masks now. They're not man. It's not. It's not mandatory. They recommend it in cases where you can't do social distancing. So we decided to wear our masks. Or does it not go over your nose? And then you pinch it. See how you pinch it? Oh my god, it's hot. Masks in summer is going to be bad. And then Gabby took my special mask that Sam bought for me. Because you know she's a princess and she needs everything good. Alright, so we're going to go in. And I'm only going to use the mask if I absolutely have to. I don't know if we have to do like... I see like somebody out at the car. I better, text, a mask on too. I better text their vet. Okay, so I texted our vet person and they said if you're here just wait I'll come and get you I don't know what that means if we get to go in or if we have to so we get out close that door most of the way it's messy back there you can open it a little but I don't want them to see the back of the car it's so super messy like don't be just exposing our car <laughs> like holy crap I'll show you I see a vet oh they're not video somebody else she just looked over here I'm, I'd be like okay hold on the hard part is that Molly can't go on the ground at all anywhere in here because she hasn't had any shots. She can't go on the ground outside. She can't go anywhere and she wants to. She's like, let me get out of this place. It's hot. It is hot. I can't wait for you guys to meet our vet person. The okay. toys of life these days. So here comes our vet person. Doesn't he look like Brandon? So handsome. Okay, go ahead. Hey guys. Good. Brought a puppy. Oh, good. Okay. Hot. You are look like my kids wearing winter clothes. It's because I fill my pockets with everything. Oh, okay. Got it. All the meds and stuff. Got to fill my pockets. Dude, that's why I'm... Machine. I need a fanny pack. So everything's done outside? Oh, yes. Everything's done outside. Oh, I had no idea. Okay. It's crazy. All right. So Gabby, you should come over here with the puppy. Yeah, I need a fanny pack. Want me to get you a fanny pack? <laughs> I'm not going to wear one. <laughs> okay. Finally, the point's spent today. Puppy. Can't put her down. Put her in the front seat there where it's the less messy part of her. If I had known we were going to be outside, I would have cleaned it. Okay. Cleaned the car. Well, I'll take her inside, but you guys oh. have to stay outside. Oh, Hi. that's terrible. Yeah. yeah. Even one person can't go in? No. Okay, well, I just want to tell you that she's a little rebunctious. She loves people. Uh, yeah, the wiener dogs are inside too. Yes, they are. You want to play with the wieners? No, she can't play with any wieners. No, you can play with the wiener dog. No, because yeah. she has not had any shots. They have. We are good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She yeah. likes you. Get ready for it. It's going to yeah. be insane. Oh, yeah. She likes to will you, will you take a picture of her when she's in there so I can put yeah, it? Okay. Want to eat my paper? Yeah. And no, health, paper. no health issues or anything? Um, She's extra crazy. Well, I can't fix that. Oh, well, we were hoping we could get a shot of something to calm her down. Give you drugs, but that's about it. Yeah, I can't believe that she literally ro rolled like in my, like it was the first time we gave her a bath and the water was black and it was like today, had to be today. Hi, baby. All right, her birthday's the 12th of, of March. March. And she's 10 weeks yesterday. Nah, I put her on the 10th of March. That's fine, that's close enough. Mm -hmm. All right. Are you guys like crazy busy right now? Nope. Right, there goes our pu our puppy. Oh, See, she, I knew she'd like you. Yeah, She's yeah, a girl. Yeah. All girls like you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I promise she'll be trained soon. Oh, I don't I mean, she's, my dog. <laughs> she's she's pretty trained. She's just crazy. Yeah. All right, let's go get her a test. She might be so sad. You're good with all the, what? You're good with the first puppy shots? Yeah, first puppy shots. What are we doing? Lee and Tick. And so we'll probably do um, your distemper parvo. Okay. And maybe lepto or lime. Okay. Which one do you want, lime or lepto? Brandon's so good to us all the time. We decided to treat him to lunch, so we came to the grocery store to get him some lunch, and we got our masks on. Okay, so Sophie, you stay close to me, and Gabby, you get a cart. Uh oh. Uh, 
six pack of seven up so that he'd have extras. We bought him a salad. And Sophie bought him a little container of sour keys because he loves them. Okay. Touch the puppy. So oh, okay. Puppy. Yeah. She's very cute. Uh, everything looks good on, on exam. Okay. Part along sound good. She's good. got nice jaw alignment. Good body weight. Kind of How much did she weigh? 6.4 kilos. Okay. So about 13 pounds. Uh, maybe a smidge more. Um, kind of hope her ears stay. Well yeah. Enough. They just start. Oh, yeah. do you? I like I want them so both cute. up. One went up and then, and then... They probably will. Yeah. Uh, a lot of times with, with a dog whose ears will stand up, they often will take till they're three months, yeah. Yeah. months yeah. before they're oh up to stay. Yeah, I found even in the past they go up and down during the teething and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. She's, she's still got all her puppy teeth and that's going to be probably the case until she's about 16 weeks of age. That's oh, usually when so the, the little guys that. at the front, the incisor, start to come in therapies. and fall out. But super nice little puppy. Thanks, yeah, we we really like her. She might be the best dog tag I've ever seen. Oh yeah, it's so funny. Did you read it? Yeah, I did. Yeah, she she got her for her thirteenth birthday and that was the tag that oh, she wanted. Okay. Um she was too young today to do the lapdo or the lime. Oh okay, seat, yeah. I think she should have those. I okay. think if the dog's feet are touching the outside, they should Oh, she's a farm dog before, and she's gonna travel the world. Yeah. It's been a long time since we've taken a puppy to the vet. Well, it's been a while, and I loved their vet. I loved the vet. It was a new vet for us. Loved them. Loved all everything about it, except for the fact that we had to stay outside. We didn't get to watch her get her first shot. Gabby didn't get to comfort her, but I have a picture that Brandon took of her in the vet's office. I'll put it in here. Um, I tried to video what the vet said. She said, that Molly was uh, put together really well, was a really nice little puppy. Uh, she weighs six how point. How supposed to eat that? You open it. I know, but how? It's big. It's, I don't think it's eat. I think you put it on her neck. No. Does it say eat? Chewable tablet. Oh, well, hopefully she likes it. Put it in meat. I bet you she'll eat it up fast. Um, so like, she said that she weighs like probably almost 14 pounds. Uh, she said she was a good weight. Uh, she thinks that her both her ears are gonna go up, but she was wishing that they would always be one up, one down. I'm like, no way, we want two up ears. But she can do um, that if she tilts her head. She said that she wins best dog tag of life. Isn't that cool? What does her dog tag say? Crap, I'm lost. Call my mom. She's ugly crying. Crap, I'm lost. Call my mom. She's ugly crying. Any vet that takes the time to read your dog's collar tag, oh, I think is a good vet. But anyway, we got some flea and tick, and we got uh, wormer. I had to move it. And I wormer. Sure this is for 10 days. I also got myself a salad because mm, the salads are where it's at, you guys. Yeah, we got, we got peace tea. Apparently, uh, peach peace tea is her favorite. Another one bites the dust. Oh, look at him. The bugs are biting him. Look, he's running in his sleep. You guys see? He's a racehorse! Did you guys see him running? Chino's getting ready to go over there and say, wake up, wake up, they're coming! He never okay. lets him. And just like that, Chino woke him up. Hi, buddy. Are you feeling the heat? Don't worry, we got something to make you cooled off. Oh my God, they're all down now. Two of them down. Got two of them down. It's the first time we ever saw Chino lay down. Oh my gosh. Gabby's not even here to see it. He woke up. He heard Gabby's voice. Literally heard Gabby's voice and popped up. What are you doing? 
Uh oh, he's getting mad. Yeah, because you were paying attention to not him. That makes him upset. Oh no. Everybody's in love with Gabby. The puppy's freaking out because Gabby isn't with her. Chino jumped up from asleep because Gabby wasn't with him. Storm. It was Storm who jumped up from asleep. No. Oh, that was Storm. Yeah, it is Storm. I got them confused. <laughs> You go to my head Cause I know I'm dealing with the devil But I'm standing With my heart in your head And I'm too deep into in this gamble Hold me towards you I can't fight it My head's underwater I try to disguise it I want you to hold me Though we haven't spoken I need that something To get me open you are only Shot away from me to be my everything Cause you are only a shot away from me to be my Got shock. Look at Chino's ready to run. All right, let's take them. Hey, bro, don't you look at that? I said, my friend, what you looking at? I think she is something for me. Excuse me, miss. It's my first time here. Maybe you can show me how to get. So Fiona told us every day for an hour to put the horses in this, uh, in our outdoor arena. And just let them eat the grass. So we thought it would be fun be to kill the, kill the puppy because she wants to be with Gabby all the time. Uh, we thought it would be fun. Yeah, we thought we thought it would be super fun to put them in there, and then us be over here swimming. And making loud noises. And making loud noises. They get used to it. Bomb proof. And watch them while they graze. Like this is what. This is what it's all about. This is what having horses is all about for, for us, is getting to watch them in their natural habitat. We got, right, so the temperature is 70 today. Yesterday it was 68, it's already 70. Okay, so my favorite thing to do in the summer is to lay in the sun and read a book and get really, really hot. And then once I'm really, really hot, jump in the pool, cool off, play with my kids, and then come back and lay in the sun again. Horses are doing well though. Finn keeps looking over at Sophie. He's making sure I'm safe. Making sure she's still here. See, that just goes to show you, boys are more important than food, Gabby. What? The horses are gone to the boys instead of the food. Gracie! Gracie! Gracie, Willow, look! Come here! Stop waving so that they come. Look, wave! Come on, Gracie! Gracie, look! Gracie! Come on! Gracie, look, there's better grass over here. Maybe you can show me out of here. I think she got something in there. So please forgive my rudeness if I'm tripping over your time. But you look so amazing. Wait, 
You forgot something Every good thing comes to an end At least it always happened to me I'm telling you this now You don't need to worry Cause I got this all down And we'll get on together And we Friday night and I am at the grocery store and I am shopping for a reason. I am shopping for a surprise. I am about to reveal the surprise in five, four, three, two, one. Hi. Surprise! Hi guys. You all thought it was Gabby in the back, but it's not. It is Kaylee. Kaylee, I have to tell you what happened today. Okay. Today, Gabby is busy turning into a teenager and it is so stressful. So basically today she wouldn't go in the pool because after she swims in the pool she has to wash her hair every single time. She has to have a shower. She has a shower like to go to the pool. She has to have a shower to get out of the pool. She has to have a shower. So she went, so I made her come down to the pool and hang out with us and then she left and we thought she was putting on her bathing suit. Really, she was figuring out how to do a messy bun in her hair. It took her the whole entire afternoon and when I walked in the house I was shocked. She was so pretty. like. It looked so good and I went, oh! and she said, don't even comment. <laughs> so don't comment when we get there. <laughs> Just act like she's always had a messy bun, it's normal, she's always known how to do it, but yeah, teenagehood, that is what's happening right now. It's stressful. Yeah, it is stressful, but you've been looking pretty. All right, so we got Kaylee here and uh, I wonder if you guys can guess in the comments below, what the heck does that mean? All right, you guys. Yeah. All right, so the noise has already started, but girls are finally back together again, and we have a fun-filled next day for you guys. Kaylee, you missed 24 hours in the horse trailer. Thank God. It was cold. <laughs> it was, I was so warm. It was amazing. I loved it. It was That's so much fun. when we slept in the barn. <laughs> no, I was cold in the barn. That was, was terrible. 24 hours in the horse barn was fun. Um, uh, but I'm sure that we can concoct something super fun. Also, am I allowed to tell them that you got a puppy? Yeah. Also, for any of you guys who haven't seen, Kaylee got a new puppy. Uh, they were born in the exact same week. Her puppy is a? Water baby. Water baby. What, what it comes in? a water bucket. He yeah. sits in water buckets. That's the only hint you get. Okay, if you want to see what it is, do you have a video on your channel yet? No. Because she has one on her phone of him sitting in the water. All right, well, there is a video coming. Is there a video coming oh, of your yes. puppy? Oh, All right, so if you guys think that this duo is good, ah! if you guys think that this duo is a good combination and a good pair, wait until you see little Miss Molly the Border Collie with Kaylee's puppy this summer. Once they both have all their shots, it is going to be the best thing. Sleepovers will never be the same. <laughs> Oh. See you guys tomorrow for more fun. So please forget my rudeness if I'm tripping over your time. But you look so amazing. And we